The Mile High City wants more money to pay for busing the city's homeless around. It's a controversial issue that's being taken up at the Denver City Council meeting right now. 7 News reporter Mark Boyle is following this story. And Mark, this is a move to help with crowding in Denver's shelters. That's right. In the St. Francis Center, like this one behind me, sees about 800 homeless people every day. It's a day shelter. So where does everyone go at night? A lot of homeless people in one confined area of Denver can lead to a dangerous situation. That's why the city of Denver is busing them elsewhere. It's a project that could now top $800,000. Philip Nahara is among the thousands of homeless in the Denver area. Charged with a serious crime at age 19, the fallout has left him homeless on the streets for decades. You can't get a job at McDonald's or you can't sign a lease. I've been homeless out here for 20 something years for a crime that I didn't commit. Nahara says a lack of proper transportation among homeless is a big problem. That's why he supports tonight's push through the Denver City Council to the tune of 400,000 additional dollars to continue busing the homeless from the downtown shelters to a central location off I 70 in Peoria. Now, the additional funding would keep the buses running until September 1st. Benny Milliner with the Department of Human Services says the program is already budgeted for the winter season, which begins the 1st of October and runs through April. Most importantly for our program is to make sure that we can get them uh, fed to a location, bedded down uh, comfortably, and then picked up in the morning back downtown. A short-term solution to a long-term problem, Tom Lures, who runs the St. Francis Center, says every effort to keep people off the streets helps. It will keep people safe. It might save some lives. It can be dangerous. Not everybody is in favor of this program, though. Leslie Foster, who runs the Gathering Place, says that it's much more cost effective for them to rely on RTD and public transportation. Certainly an issue that we will continue to follow after the meeting tonight. Live in Denver, Mark Boyle, 7 News. Yeah.